Hello, we are from AbOVO and we have developed an advanced planning system in Quintic. Today we'll show you how Quintic can help liquid terminals plan their vessels and determine the best available tank and pipeline routes. Liquid terminals have specific regulations regarding berth lengths, tanks in which a liquid can be assigned, and fingers that can be used to unload a vessel, and many other regulations. The overall functionality of a liquid terminal is as follows. A vessel is scheduled to arrive to a terminal and needs to be berthed. Once it's berthed in the proper location, a finger will start pumping liquid into a tank that meets certain regulations. Vessels loaded with liquid bulk arrive to ports. Once their liquid bulk is unloaded, they will leave said port. If two types of liquids are scheduled to go through the same pipe, this pipe needs to be cleaned. In this model, we have included a simulation of how tanks are filled. An advantage of this model is that reports can be generated for easier tracking of the vessels, as well as a better understanding of vessel activity. Now let's take a look at what Quintic Liquid Terminal Planning is all about. The first view is called Planning. As you can see, there are various forms in this view. At the top, we can see the KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators. The KPIs give feedback to the planner regarding the status of the current plan and are a great reference for the planner. Directly below the KPIs, we can see the vessels that are scheduled to arrive to the port and information regarding each vessel is available. If the planner needs to obtain other information, he or she can select other columns to be displayed as needed. When we click on one of the vessels, we can see the orders it contains, and each order has a product type, which can either be fuel, gasoline, Jet A1, naphtha, LCO, or methanol. Some of the other information displayed is the volume of the order, the duration of the pumping, and pumping start and end time. There are many ways to plan vessels and orders. They can be planned individually or in parallel. If the planner plans them individually, the ending results will most likely be worse than the parallel planning results, as there are complex scenarios for the planner to keep in working memory. Luckily, Quintic can handle all of the various scenarios and constraints and build a more efficient and effective plan as compared to planning manually. Next, a planner can manually drag and drop a vessel to a berth. If there are any restrictions regarding a vessel in berth, the program will disallow the operation. Once the vessel is planned, the order can be assigned to a tank, and this can be manually done since potential tanks are highlighted. The second option is to right-click on the order and assign it to the ideal tank. This option will choose the tank in which the order will be unloaded the fastest. It is important to note that a berth can be out of service for a specific period of time. And this situation can be visualized in the GC berth form by clicking on one of the berths and modifying the calendar. Capacity is a multiplier, and we can introduce the period in which the berth will not work at 100% of its potential. This must be taken into account when planning. With Quintic, our goal is to make the life of a planner easier, and this is why we have created an option to plan all the vessels and orders at once. This option considers all restrictions and assigns the vessel to the best berth while also considering the best possible routes to allocate the orders to tanks. In the infrastructure layout form, we can see a simulation of what happens in a terminal and we can select a specific time and check what the situation is then or set up the clock and let time pass. As one can see, tanks have different colors because they represent diverse situations. If the clock is displaying a time preceding the arrival of a vessel, but the orders of the vessel have already been planned, the colors will differ from the ones past the arrival time of a vessel. 
Let us review this scenario with an example. Tank 1034 is orange before starting the clock, and this means that the tank is full. But, as you can see on the right, the level only reaches up to the blue color level. We can see information regarding the tanks or berths under the tooltips if we hover the mouse over one of them. When we run this simulation, we can see how the tanks are being filled. In the last form, we can see what the situation is for every segment of the pipes. The green represents when the pipe is in use, and the brown represents a cleaning operation. If we want to track the evolution of a tank stock level, we would need to go to the view called Infrastructure. In the tank form in this view, we have detailed information regarding each tank. Whenever we select a tank, we can see a graph with the evolution of its contents over time. Finally, to generate the reports previously mentioned at the beginning of this demo, we can click on the menu Reports and generate a PDF with the information for each vessel and tank. As one can see, this solution shows how Quinta can help a company optimally plan vessels and orders to berths and tanks while keeping track of their locations and stock levels. Thank you for your time and happy planning.